In this example, we apply mesh current method to solve a circuit containing a current source. The main steps to applying the mesh current method are shown here. Mesh current method requires application of Kirchhoff voltage law and in writing the KVL expressions, we use Ohm's law and passive sign convention. Recall that a mesh is a loop that does not contain any other loops within it. For this given circuit, step one is identify and label the mesh currents. This is already done here. We can see that there are three meshes. The mesh currents are labeled I1 to I3 and we have assumed clockwise direction for the mesh currents. Let's start with step two, which is applying Kirchhoff voltage law to each mesh. Here, if the circuit contains a current source, we need to check whether the current source is in a single mesh or not. If there is a current source in a single mesh, then by Kirchhoff current law, the current in that mesh must be equal to the current source. So the mesh current has to be equal to the current source value. So here we can see that I1 is flowing through this mesh and there is a current source in this mesh and the direction of the current source is the same as the mesh current I1. Therefore, this simplifies the process and we can just write I1 is 10 ohms directly by inspection. Let's apply Kirchhoff voltage law to mesh 2. In mesh 2, we have three resistors. We can start at any component. So let's start here at the 6 ohm resistor. The current flowing through this is I2. So what we get is plus 6 I2. We have a positive sign because the voltage drop, there is a voltage drop across the resistor and we use a passive, a positive sign for the voltage drop. Next we have the 5 ohm resistor. There are two currents I2 and I3 flowing through this resistor. Since we are applying Kirchhoff voltage law to mesh 2, we give priority or precedence to the direction of I2. So this voltage drop is plus 5 I2 minus I3. Last we have the 10 ohm resistor. And for this one, we have 10 I2 minus I1 is equal to 0. Let's repeat the process for mesh 3. So here, let's start at the 5 ohm resistor. There are two currents, flow, two mesh currents flowing through this resistor. Since we are writing KVL for mesh 3, we give priority to the direction of I3. So this voltage drop is plus 5 I3 minus I2. Then we have the 8 ohm resistor. So this is plus 8 I3. And similarly through the 12 ohm resistor, there is only I3 flowing. So this is plus 12 I3 is equal to 0. So we can see that in this case, although there are three meshes, because the current source is in the single mesh one, then this reduces one equation and we can write one mesh current directly. So here we have two equations and two unknowns and we can solve these equations to find I2 and I3. We can use the online resource Wolfram Alpha to find the solution. So in the web interface, the equations that we wrote can be entered directly. I'm using underscore to denote uh, subscripts. And the system is able to recognize these equations. And the solution is shown here at the bottom. So solving these equations, we can show that I 2 is 5 amps and I3 is 1 amp. Once the mesh currents are found, then we can solve for the desired circuit variables. In this case, we have to find the power dissipated through the 5 ohm resistor. This can be done in multiple ways uh, using the mesh currents. 
for instance we can find this voltage drop v naught across this resistor first so v naught will be the resistance multiplied by the current with this assumed polarity this means the current flowing through this resistor is i2 minus i3 so v naught is 5 times i Two minus I three and this gives five minus one so this gives 20 volts and now the power dissipated in a resistor is V squared over R and substituting values this is 20 squared by 5 which is 80 watt so the answer is positive because a resistor always dissipates power We can use LTSPICE to verify the solution. So we run the simulation and then I hover the cursor over the 5 ohm resistor and we can see that in the bottom left corner the power dissipation is 80 watts as we calculated. So this confirms the solution.